So here we've got our uh, X900C. This is our 55 inch version. Uh, real big uh, key selling point on this TV, this is 4.9 millimeters or 0.2 inches. Uh, this is currently the world's thinnest LCD TV on the market. Um, another thing that's pretty cool, so this TV does come in 55 inches and 65 inches. We have a 75 inch variant of the same model, but it is called the uh, X910C. That model, same features, but a little bit thicker bezel, um, but it is a 75 inch TV. Um, looking behind you here, this is our um, X900, uh, or I'm sorry, X930C. So this TV comes in 65 inch and then there's a 75 inch version as well. The 75 inch version is the X940C. Our X940C is a, has our, what we call extended dynamic range pro. So that's gonna give you the best uh, black levels that you can possibly get with peak bright levels. The way we're able to do that, we refocus that energy that we save in the black levels and reapply that to our bright white levels. Um, Another thing new for this year is our X1 image processor. So you can actually see that behind you here. So this is our X1 image processor. So what this does is a little bit different from last year. Is this is going to allow you to, or allow the, the TV is going to analyze every um, source coming into it and apply the upscaling where it needs to be. Um, it's going to analyze lower bitrate content that's coming in through 4K. So whether that's um, YouTube content or something like that or, or Netflix content all the way up to our X10 media server, which comes in at a much higher bit rate. So it can, it can look at where to apply the, the upscaling that it needs, um, as well as where it doesn't need it. So another thing that we're really looking at this year is our tri-luminous display. So if you look at this TV behind you, the one on the left is a tri-luminous panel. So our tri-luminous panel gives you a larger box of crayons. So larger box of crayons to color your image. So we got about 30% larger color space than a traditional LCD or conventional LCD panel. If you look at the TV on the left, this TV has our triluminous, and the TV on the right does not. So you're gonna notice your reds, greens, and blues, which are here right now in front of us, are gonna pop a lot more on the triluminous display. So this is our X830C. This is our entry into 4K this year. Um, so this model here comes in a 43 inch, and a 49 inch, and a 55 inch. Um, this TV here, what you're gonna, basically it's a, a little bit, thicker design than looking at the X900, uh, but still a very, very good TV. Um, prices on all these TVs are, are to be determined, looking at a spring release date on, on all the new products here this year. One thing to really take note of with all of our TVs this year is they all run on uh, Android TV. So all of our new 4K TVs, if you want to take a look at that, we can kind of go through that user interface over here. So here's our X850C. Uh, so this TV here is going to come in a 55 inch, a 65 inch, and a 75 inch, which is what we have here. This is really our, bit, our bread and butter TV. Um, it gives you the X1 processor, gives you the Android TV platform, user interface, um, one flick entertainment, uh, all around really, really good TV that will come in at a, at a good price point as well. So this is what, what we're showing over here is our Android TV interface. So uh, JJ here is showing uh, what's called voice search. So utilizing that, that Android uh, Lollipop interface, you can do voice searches that will, anything you search for will pop up. It'll give you options like Wikipedia or IMDB, um, YouTube videos, Netflix videos. Pretty much anything that you can access on your phone now, you're gonna be able to access on this TV. So going around to the other side, we can see how Android ties into Google Cast. So with Google Cast, I'm able to take anything that I'm doing on my tablet or my phone and throw it onto the TV, then resume what I was doing before on my, on my tablet. So I can now throw this content here and go about whatever I was doing on my phone or put my phone in my pocket and, and basically put it back into a sleep mode. It's basically activating that app onto the TV and then the TV takes over. Because this is an Android platform, most of the apps that I'm gonna have on my device, I'll also have on the TV. So here I'll change the video. So now a new video is going to play. So I activated that video here on this uh, Xperia Z3 compact tablet. And now it's going to play on the TV itself. So another cool thing about the Google platform and the, the Android TV functionality is that any of the peripherals I can plug into an Android device now. So looking at wireless printers, wireless keyboards, uh, wireless game controllers, I can sync directly to my TV now. Um, and speaking of gaming, we can walk over here and look at some of the gaming options. 
So right now, again, we're on the X900C uh, TV again, um, which this, this operating system is on all of our TVs this year, all of our 2015 4K models. Uh, what we're showing here is the ability to play games. So these games here, <coughs> these games here are, are based, are actually downloaded onto the TV. So these TVs have 16 gigabytes of memory, uh, internal memory, and it will be expandable in the future. Um, so now you've got a lot of the games that you're going to access on your Android phone, you can now play directly on the TV. Uh, you add to that the functionality with PlayStation Now, you've really got a lot of gaming options that you would otherwise not have unless you had a console uh, without the requirement for a console. You can see here we have an Asus controller connected to it. This is the same one that we're, so this is the, uh, this is the one that we mentioned earlier. This is the uh, 75 X940C. A little bit of a change from this TV and, and the X930C, this TV has Extended Dynamic Range Pro. So this TV uses a full array local dimming technology with all the LED backlighting behind the panel itself. Um, as well, you get the, the, the speakers, the subwoofer, the tweeter, and the woofer <coughs> with the ability to, to play back high-res audio as well as upscale audio to near high-res. A very substantial TV here, which is uh, with great audio and great picture, really the best of both worlds. Um, looking at some of the content, what we've got shown over here is content now that users can create on their own. So you're able to use you know, your Sony action cam, the new 4K action cam, Sony phones that can record in 4K. 4K is becoming much more uh, consumer ready. Um, and we, we're showing that here. Content that you can really create your own and then using the power of the X1 processor, analyzing that content and upscaling it to where, where it needs to be upscaled and applying you know, noise reduction, things like that. Um, what we're showing here is YouTube video. So 4K video now is, is very readily available on YouTube. Um, Tons of user-created content, stuff put it out by movie studios as well, trailers and, and such. Uh, going from here, here we're really getting into uh, kind of our, the highest in 4K. So this gives you native 4K content uh, with our X10 media player. So this box has a hard drive built into it. It connects to your network at home. You download movies. So you could download, in this instance, the Blacklist. Download episodes of the Blacklist. You're playing them at a very, very high bit rate in their native resolution. Going from here, so we're talking about 4K content. Another thing is a lot of customers are gonna watch stuff that's not necessarily in 4K. And this demo over here that we have, so this is showing the difference between um, a 1080p TV and a 4K TV. The signal coming in both TVs, are, they're both 1080p signals. The TV on the right, so this is a 1080p TV with a 1080p signal. The TV on the left is a 1080p signal on a 4K TV, so the same source on both TVs. But you'll really notice the difference in the sharpness and the step. So on this TV here, the steps are going to be much sharper, all on the trees. So if you compare the trees here to the trees there, there's pretty much overall sharpness and depth. But there will be another clip that will come up and show you some grass and things like that where you can really see a big difference. You look in the grass here, the trees up top compared to the 4K. And if we go from here, so looking at, we've looked at color and clarity, if we look at contrast. So contrast is something that really is gonna allow the user and the, the consumer to, to get the best, the peak bright levels with the, the inky blacks that everyone loves so much. So the TV on the left is the, the 75 inch X940 that we talked about earlier. That TV has the full array local dimming um, from the extended dynamic range pro. So you're gonna look at your black levels are much deeper on this TV than our conventional uh, 4K TV. So if you look down into the, the city lights, maybe you'll see a lot more here than on the TV on the right.